This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2013 Ford F-150. It is obviously a crew cab. It's the five and a half foot bed, short bed. Um, it's a five liter V8. It's four wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Um, it has obviously has a hard tonneau cover on it that folds. Um, and it uh, is sitting on really nice uh, high rubber uh, tires, 305 70 17s. They do not rub, which means that somebody did a really nice job in measuring these tires out for this truck. They look really good on it too. Um, anyway, my job in this video is to uh, tell you what's wrong, not what's right. Um, so I will point at stuff that you might want to look at closer in the, in the videos. We'll go on a nice little drive down Interstate 10. Um, I'll talk about how this works, okay? Um, but this was a Jim Click, they called the Jim Click Lincoln Mercury Trade. But when I bought it on the windshield was written Jim Click Green Valley, which is clearly where it came from. Uh, my brother <laughs> laughed when he saw it. He goes, oh, here comes the old man truck speech. And yes, it is coming. Um, <laughs> when old men have trucks and they've owned a lot of vehicles, this is what they look like. Great. Um, I see a little thing. I see a little, this looks like stuff that could have come off in detail. That, that is stuff that could have come off in detail, but they did a bad job. There's a little ding right there. Um, anyway, old men trucks are like this. They look like they're in a time capsule. <laughs> this one, it's got a little rub mark on the front bumper cover, I think. I'd look for some silver touch up for Ford, but it's important to get the right color and I didn't have it. So there's a little rub right there, which I'm sure, based on the way this truck looks, I'll bet you that happened at the auction or at the dealership or something because this guy was uh, very into his truck. Anyway, you can see it's got the rough country uh, electric steps. There you go. And they look brand new. I put it up in the air. I drove it onto our four wheel lift. Usually I pressure spray the undercarriages and stuff. But uh, this vehicle didn't need any cleaning. It looks really good without it. So, no need to get dirty and wet and deal with that. So, I didn't. I will show you the auto check in a second. And uh, in the auto check, you'll see that it's a Tucson vehicle. So obviously rust is not a factor at all. Um, he also knew how to drive without parking sensors and without a backup camera. He didn't hit stuff. That's weird. It's like he knew how to drive. Huh. You got to plug here, plug there, hitch. I don't think he ever towed with it because I don't see any rubbing inside the hitch. And there's no damage here, so probably never did. Here's your bed, nothing heavy crunched in here. Just uh, scratchy from putting stuff in it. And then this thing, well, I think, let me see how this thing works. Oh, I see. So you got little brackets here and see where it folds. So you take these brackets off and then it'll fold in pieces that way. God, it's a pretty truck. Really pretty truck, Lord. All right, you got two sets of keys, okay? Both with remotes. There's locked, there's unlocked. Let's see, locked, let's see. Unlocked, with the key, all right? And then, there's your running boards down here. Let me get this thing running here. Then I'll read you some stuff and show you. So it says 70,968 miles on it is what's on it now after detail and driving it home yesterday. Pretty truck, really pretty truck. All right, let's see. This is the condition report. This is what they give us when we buy them. Um, there's the VIN. It says no structural damage, no prior paint. Tires are in great shape, 10 out of 10 on all the tires. Auto check is clean. 
They gave it a 3.4 out of 5, which, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you don't give it a 5 out of 5, except they're paranoid about getting yelled at, so they always underdo it. But even the, even that, a three out of 3.4 out of 5, which they consider average, is a great score on a truck over 5 years old. Never happens on trucks. So that's, I'll take it, even though it's really low in my opinion. Here's the auto check. This will be scanned into the file also, so you'll be able to see it. One owner, obviously a good score. Um, no accident damage, no auto issues, blah, blah, blah. Just a super boring auto check, which is awesome. So born in Tucson, kept in Tucson the whole way. Tucson truck, zero rust. So all this stuff will be scanned in so you'll be able to see it, okay? Some Ford mats there. Ba, ba, ba. We're going to the hood. There's your hood latch, by the way, in case you're curious. All right, nothing really to report in here. There's the stickers where they belong. Smog stickers, Ford stamps on the fender, Ford stamp over here. So these are all original parts up front and everything's good to go. Ah, that's my worst habit, by the way. Now I'm here, I need to make sure I don't have the locks on. I don't, the window locks, I should say. When it's 110 out here, it really irritates me when I do that. It's just, just another 30 seconds of heat is enough, but it happens to be about 72 right now. So it doesn't matter. There's your door locks. There's your running board came out. You got the full manual in here. Nothing going on there. There. Pretty truck. Oh, this thing's pretty. That'll go up, open the back, that'll go down. There you go. I can't believe anyone would sell this thing. He must have really just, he must have bought a brand new one. It's kind of an old man thing to do. I know trucks like this do not, do not grow on trees. That I can tell you. Look at the interior of this thing. Let's look at the roof real quick. Make sure we have no stories up here. And we do not. <laughs> okay, let's see. Window, this is from the master switch on the driver door. Window, window, window. Let me go to the mirrors. Out, in, up, and down. And based on the speed of these mirrors, he's probably replaced them pretty, pretty recently because they get tired. Even, even if they're not a lot of miles, they get tired after time. So I think you're good to go on those for a while. There's your power seat forward and back, up and down. You have adjustable pedals right here. Let's see, that's up and down. You have tilt wheel, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you know what? I was wondering what this was. I'm gonna guess that, I'm gonna close this door, right? And then I'm gonna do this, turn it off, and I'm gonna see, yep, that's how you turn the, uh, the power seats on. Boom, see? Huh. I've done this before. Okay, my seatbelt on here. All right, let's see, radio. Uh, how do we do radio on this thing? Boom, there it is. Uh, scan. Okay. Radio's a radio, right? Um, CD, auxiliary, menu, all that stuff. All right, let's see, let's turn on the AC. Turn it all the way to cold and go 
to the, there we go. And we're already blowing ice. Beautiful. All right, but because it's winter time, let's go heat. Make sure that we have some heat. And instant heat. Perfect. Everything works there. That works great. All right, so we have a USB, we have a power port, and this is an auxiliary port also. All right. Let's see, we'll put it in neutral. I'm gonna go to four low. Drive. That's in four low, that's definitely granny gear. Man, that thing is strong too. And reverse. Okay, so now we're in reverse in four low. Neutral, now we're gonna go to four high. Let's see, four high. Advanced track is on now. And we go forward. And we go in reverse. This is in four high. A little bit quicker, obviously. And we go to two wheel drive, shift in progress. Now we're in four wheel drive. Roll up the window, go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you can pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, that is plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is a agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file and mail it to you. If you need help with shipping, let me know at the time of purchase. I can uh, do the shipping for you and roll that into the price of the vehicle. So one price will get the truck and the shipping done. But you're welcome to do the shipping yourself. No problem, okay? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think that's about it on that part. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it will stay for sale. So please get your deposit in, all right? Um, <clears throat> Last part of every video, I say the same thing every time, and I have for thousands of vehicles over the last, God, 18 years. And this is it, all right? We don't have salesmen, so no commissions are part of this deal, which saves you money. We don't have an attendant in our lobby selling scones and lattes or giving them away. Uh, we don't have a game room. Uh, this isn't the auto mall. This is just... Uh, honest what we have to sell you we give you all the information so that when it gets to your home especially if it's shipping uh you get more than you thought you were going to get so you get a lot of information this video photos where it came from everything uh in exchange for one thing you become the owner on day one why does that matter at the uh auto mall when you buy this vehicle off their used car dealership and pay twenty four thousand for it <laughs> which is probably what they would ask for this truck um and it breaks you're gonna go in there and go i paid 24 grand for this truck and i and they're gonna have to fix it all right well we're not coming anywhere near that number we don't want that much money because we want a lot left on the bone for you so that when a window motor takes a crap or the radio decides not to turn on that day or whatever happens you can fix it and not say oh crosscut screwed me right we don't want that, all right? So we figured you'd want your money up front. On this one especially, I mean, golly, you know, keep it out of a lake, don't rear end a semi, um, change the filters and the oil, you know, tranny fluid once in a while. And uh, this thing's gonna go forever, you know? Uh, drive it like a human being. This thing's nice, really nice. Um, you see, I've got, so I'm doing this right here. Got the gauge mode. Oh, that's the compass, the transmission temp, blah, 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 truck apps. There's the, I'm in my tipping over part here. I don't think I want to fight the semi, so I won't. So we're on uh, Prince Road. We're getting on to I-10 right here. All right, let's do this. I-10's a mess, which sucks. But uh, anyway. Let's see, I'm gonna keep going down. There's settings, driver assist, information, my key. I think that's about it, really. I like gauge mode. I like it right there. I think that's cool. All right, uh, let's see. What else? How about, how about windshield wipers? There you go. It's right here, right? La, la, la. That's traction control right here. Turn that off. Uh, anyway, the bottom line is back to my speech is 
in exchange for saving you money up front, you are the owner on day one, and you will fix your truck when it breaks. Now, this is a great place to get a ticket, by the way, but I'd really like to do about 100 in this thing because it looks like it wants to. Feels like it really wants to. Well, yeah, yeah, cops love to be right here. I don't really feel like getting a ticket, but hold on, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, there's 90 for you, all right? And this thing runs like crazy. Really nice truck. Um, but the bottom line is you're the owner on day one. We're not writing you checks for anything for any reason. Uh, we're not the devil. <laughs> well, all we are is guys who are giving you a lot of information and uh, a lot of uh, photos and free auto checks and where we bought it and everything so you can make a good decision, okay? We're getting off on Ruth Roth here. And uh, in exchange, you save a bunch of money and if something breaks, you can fix it and not hate us. That's the plan. Um, <laughs> but, uh, man, I would drive this. I'd get this thing and drive to Maine right now. Zero doubt. Nice truck. Very quiet. It's got the off-road tires on it, and they're not loud, which is crazy. I think this guy did a really nice job putting this truck together and uh, maintaining it. Anyway, my videos only last 17 minutes and 38 seconds, which is the length that uh, the GoPro I have in my hand um, allows on the SD card. I have no idea why that's the number, but it's been that way forever. And uh, so it's uh, 17 minutes and 38 seconds, I disappear. But uh, anyway, this is kind of a bumpy road. I'll be quiet for a second. Change lanes here. like this truck and I'm really happy I bought it anyway I'm about I don't know five minutes away from our yard going back so we're not making it there by the end of this because it's over in five seconds or ten seconds so and we're stuck behind this rig right here anyway beautiful truck uh, I would be very confident owning this truck extremely confident owning this truck um, I think that's about it thank you for your time